Welcome back to Unleash Your Healthy Self. I'm Dr. Brent Livesay, and this is Dr. Cameron Bishop. Today we are on our feet because we are going to be demonstrating some balance exercises as our topic today is maintaining balance through the aging process. Dr. Bishop, where should we begin when we talk about balance? Well, as we age, we lose our sense of balance, and it's important to keep our sense of balance to avoid falls. Um, also, there's some studies that talk about uh, maintaining good balance is good for the brain, that it increases uh, working memory. So, for example, I'm not saying if you're 80 years old to do this, but if you climb a tree, uh, actually using all four limbs lights up your brain, and you'll have better working memory retention over crossword puzzles, 50% more. So that's an interesting thing. Also, if you strangely, if you do it barefoot, it's even more. So that's an interesting study out there. So as we age, we don't want to um, uh, fall, uh, break bones and things like that. But even if we're younger and or uh, active in sports, we want to use it to keep our uh, balance good, which is great for all sports and uh, any activity, whether it's the gym or surfing or golf or whatever like that. So it sounds like balance is sort of a combination of uh, our brain working and our body working. So that sounds like a good interface to keep healthy. Yeah, and it works, uh, helps our metabolism. So there's studies about uh, maintaining balance that you actually helps uh, balance your hormones and metabolic processes and things like that. And you mentioned about Eastern cultures. You know, when I lived in Japan, we had a kozato table, which was a low table on a uh, carpet like this or tatami mats and you would be sitting on the floor. So there's studies that actually say, as you get older, if you can actually get off the ground without using your hands, you actually live longer and have less uh, problems with backs and things like that. We don't have it, much of it in American culture, except for when I was a kid, we had the uh, monkey bars or the jungle gym. And it was actually developed by a guy who uh, wanted to let kids uh, learn how to think in three dimensions. But of course, it was a lot of fun and great for um, uh, the body to swing through it, to play with it, and strengthen all the muscles. I think we can talk about some ways that we can incorporate balance into our lives. Um, I don't think we want to just be getting on and off the floor. It's kind of a strange thing to do in our culture. But what are some things that we can think about to help increase our balance? Well, I do this with my students a lot. The most simple balance exercises are just to, you know, if you need a, a wall or a chair, you can do it. But just to uh, raise your leg and hold it for 30 seconds and then turn left and then turn right. It's harder than you think. And then you do the other side. But to make it even harder, and, and again, use something if you need it, to raise your leg, it's going to be parallel and turn left, turn right, but this time do it with your eyes shut. Left, ooh, right. So that's a really good one to do. Anything that's opposite, like, like this is great to do. And another thing I like to incorporate it to make it even uh, harder is to put the arms out. And then as I go down, just have my toes barely scrape the ground. You can do that. And then do backwards like you're on a bicycle, uh, going backwards on the bicycle. You do that as a kid. So do both sides, and that's an easy thing to do. If this is too hard, do it in a pool, because pool's anti-gravity. So you can mm -hmm. practice in a pool all these kind of things, and that's a good way to start. Yeah, that's wonderful. We're going to go ahead and show a couple more exercises with some different uh, apparatus that we have. Yep. So we'll go ahead and do that. Dr. Bishop is here on an Indo board, and he's demonstrating one of the different ways it's used with the roller to help people with their balance and athleticism in general. As you can see, he looks like he's surfing some waves. <laughs> yeah, I do miss surfing. Yeah, I, I love this thing. It's an advanced device. Uh, you just can't jump on it. I have you know, my athletic friends come and they want to jump right on it and stuff, and they end up uh, just falling over. So when you do it for the first time, have someone standing in front of you, put your hand on their shoulders, 
And that's how you kind of uh, or orientate yourself. Don't wear socks because they can slide. Your feet start sliding. I don't, I like to do it barefoot. And shoes are tricky because they can uh, roll over and you can sprain an ankle. There's a lot of advanced things. Some people will start lifting weights on this, doing balancing exercises, all kinds of things like that. You can like look on YouTube and see thousands of different things to do with this. So I do like this. It is an advanced thing. It's great for all kinds of balanced sports too. And it's great for the brain. All right. Well, I have here something that I use throughout the day as part of balance and strengthening. And it's actually two things, but they're identical. And they're little plastic uh, balls that one side is very smooth and the other side has these nubs and they're inflated with air. And actually something that Dr. Bishop could explain a lot better is acupressure, which is there are lots of acupuncture points on the bottoms of the feet and they can be stimulated if you step on something that's spiky like this. So I get a nice uh, stimulation of my meridians, my acupuncture channels when I am standing on these uh, balls. They also require some balance. As you saw, as I just got up there, there's an art to standing sort of in the middle of it and transferring your weight, uh, standing with your toes more toward the front of the ball or your heels more toward the center of the ball. And it's uh, very safe. There's not much room to fall because <clears throat> you're only this far off the ground. And about the only other thing that I like to do besides just standing while I'm on a video call or uh, listening to or watching something on television is doing a little bit of knee bending. So you can uh, think about going into like a squat and you get that extra challenge with the balance. Well, I've never tried this before, so this is completely new to me, so this will be fun. He mentioned um, acupressure points on the bottom. So the body, um, you know, there's something called reflexology or zone therapy, and that's uh, completely different from acupuncture. It's a whole different theory. It's from a different continent, different time. Uh, reflexology probably originated with Native Americans, and uh, uh, acupuncture, of course, uh, it comes out of Asia. And that has a long, complicated history. But what we do know is the greatest concentration of nerves outside the brain is the eyes. And number two is the feet. So the feet are kind of like eyes for the body. And traditionally, 99% of our life, we went barefoot. And let's see how I go. 99.9% .9 of human history, we went barefoot. And the, somehow these were sensors. All kinds of strange things happen with our feet. We sense uh, pressure and all kinds of other stuff. We sense um, um, touch, obviously, and things like that. So there's more than peripheral nerves going on. We know our, our skin now, as the largest organ of the body, actually can sense color, can sense pressure, can sense temperature, uh, touch, all kinds of different things. And this is newer research coming out of Japan. And actually, they talk about the brain uh, being, you know, a brain, and our heart, our gut, the entire gut being the second brain, and the third brain being our skin. And one of the strongest components of that sensing is our feet. And uh, it uh, opens up our sinuses if they're warm. Uh, also, there's some relation with blood pressure and all kinds of other strange things they're discovering. So this is kind of fun. I'm not as good as him, but let me try. Oh, I can do it. Yay. Well, we hope you've enjoyed a little exploration of balance today and gotten a few tips that you can incorporate into your life to have better balance and increase your health and wellness. Yeah, and remember the balance. You can just put it into everyday life. It doesn't have to be an exercise. For example, you could be brushing your teeth and do the tree pose or be cooking, that type of stuff, writing, all kinds of things you can do in everyday life to practice your balance.